There are only two ways to balance the books, raise taxes or cut spending. Today, George Osborne made his preference clear. Cut spending by freezing some benefits for two years. The fairest way to reduce welfare bills is to make sure that benefits are not rising faster than the wages of the taxpayers who are paying for them. The benefits that will be frozen include job seekers allowance, income support, child tax credit, working tax credit, child benefit and employment support allowance. Pensions, maternity pay and disability benefits are not included. In all, this should save three billion pounds. Hello, can you go? Hello, not to <laughs> The TV programme Benefit Street made Deirdre Kelly famous. The woman, known as White D, was in Birmingham for a debate on benefits today. She fears vulnerable people will suffer now, for instance, those on £50 a week, job seekers allowance. With the cost of living, like the cost of shopping expenses or paying your fuel bills, things like that, that's not going to be frozen. That £50 nowhere near going to be worth £50 in two years' time. So they might find it tough, but I suppose the argument might be that might make them more inclined to go out and look for a job? How many people on Job Seekers Allowance now are already out looking for a job? There's not a great number of people who are on benefits not looking for a job. George Osborne also promised to scrap a tax on handing on pension pots. An appeal to some core voters not to go to UKIP? Well, it seemed popular. And the Chancellor pitched himself and the Conservatives as the only ones with a credible plan to secure the economy. Did you see that speech last week? Ed Miliband made a pitch for office that was so forgettable he forgot it himself. <laughs> but I have to tell you, in all seriousness, that forgetting to talk about the deficit is not just some hapless mistake of an accident-prone politician. It is completely and totally a disqualification for the high office he seeks. Their conference began with a defection to UKIP and a minister's resignation over naked photos. They needed something to cheer them up, and he has provided it.